Welcome to the Process Hacker News, a quick weekly roundup of useful news and updates from process hackers who have been guests on Hack the Process with M. David Green. For links to anything mentioned in this episode, please check out the show notes. And to join the community and receive expanded updates weekly, sign up for the mailing list at hacktheprocess.com slash contact. Welcome to the Process Hacker News for April 9th, 2019. This week, we've got money flows, workplace tokenism, puzzle games, and more. Enjoy! In events, Compass Rose, the lateral thinking puzzle game created by Pace Smith, is now officially out. Check out the Compass Rose trailer to see what it's all about. Attend the 5th Content Marketing Conference, which happens from April 16th to 19th in Boston, to hear what Sarah Cooper and others have to share about content marketing and how it's evolving. On April 17th in New York, you can join the Learning by Making series for free to discover strategies that can make today's learners competitive. Sasha Ariel Alston will be speaking about introducing STEM to kids. Veterans Path, where Bill Duane serves as the vice chairman of the board, is inviting women veterans to the Centerpoint OEF-OIF Women Veterans Retreats from May 12th to 17th in New Mexico to help them heal from PTSD and readjust to civilian life. In media, listen in as Tiffany Bova shares about sales leadership and personal growth in her interview on the Selling with Social podcast. On the $100 MBA podcast, Omar Zenholm breaks down the lessons from the book Epic Content Marketing by Joe Polizzi, touching on online marketing, search engine optimization, social media, and more. After months of hiatus, Hampton Catlin and husband, Michael Lintorn Catlin, are back with a new episode of the We Have a Microphone podcast. Hear them kick back drink a Laura Palmer, and chat for 40 minutes about Brexit, British Prime Ministers, and a whole lot more. In writing, Michelle Kim sent out a love letter to underrepresented people in the workplace who might be experiencing tokenism and isolation, as a reminder that even if you think you're all alone in the workplace, you're not. What's it like to grow up between two cultures? Ricky Yin shares his experience of what it's like to be Asian American in his latest Medium post. And in recommended resources, catch Amy Hoy and other digital thought leaders at Webstock 2019 in New Zealand. The conference, which runs from June 26th to 28th, will gather folks to explore the present, the future, and the potential of the web. Both Brennan Dunn and Alex Hillman mentioned Amy in their Hack the Process interviews. Seth Godin, whose work made an impact on Alex Cespedes, Tara Byrne, and Tiffany Bova, uses the latest episode of his Akimbo podcast to remind us that money flows, and even though monetary value is everywhere, it does not necessarily translate to the value of your work. Kerwin McKenzie lives in airplanes, travels the world, and epitomizes the digital nomad lifestyle. Hear his travel hacks, how he runs two websites while traveling, and how he affords his lifestyle in an interesting chat on the Yarrow blog with Yarrow Starek, who was mentioned by Michelle Dale. Thanks for listening to this Process Hacker News update from Hack the Process. Go to hacktheprocess.com for links and details or to sign up for the mailing list for expanded updates. And please leave a rating in iTunes and a comment to let us know what processes you're hacking. This has been M. David Green for Hack the Process.